Okay, you guys, we are winding down. I don't even need this whiteboard anymore because we can just talk our way through pages RW and PW 153. So I have dogs chasing a fly. In case you see a dog actually fly past me, that's what's going on right now. Okay, so if you want to get out RW, PW 153, we will work our way through it together, okay? This is elapsed time. This is reviewing what we've done uh, before with uh, your regular math on elapsed time. It means if you start something, say at three o'clock, and you finish it by four o'clock, how much time has elapsed or gone by? One hour, right? So that's what we're doing. The hour hand, when it makes the full circle back to wherever it was, in this case, straight up, then an hour has passed. If it's 5.15 and the hour hand makes a trip all the way back to the 15 or the number three, that also is an hour, right? <clears throat> Doesn't always have to start the 12, I'll show you. 60 minutes makes an hour. So if we start here at 6.15, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. 60 minutes to make it all the way around, which makes an hour. You're right. So let's look at number um, one, okay? And you see how to spell hour on that paper right up in the top directions? H-O-U-R, okay? So number one, if you start at two o'clock, so it's two o'clock p.m. in the afternoon, you start your history at two o'clock, and for some reason you don't finish it until four o'clock. How many times around? Two, one for three, two for four. So you wanna write two hours. That took two hours. Basically, guys, it's four take away two, right? Which would be two. All right, so you start something at six, and you don't finish it until 10. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I bet that's four hours. Six, one, two, three, four. Four hours to get to 10 o'clock. So write four hours, add an S to the word hour, and you'll have it. Okay, backside, having trouble here. <clears throat> Same thing, <clears throat> sorry. So if you go from four o'clock to six o'clock, what have you got there? How much time has elapsed? Four, five, one trip, six, two trips, two hours, right? H O U. R S hours H O U R S. Okay, let's say you start at one o'clock and you finish at five. You can go like this: one, two, three, four. Looks like four hours, right? One trip around, two trips around, three trips around, four trips around. Number of ways you could figure that out. It could be five take away one, right? Okay, so four hours. Now if you start at 9 a.m. and you finish at 2 p.m., how much time has gone by? Well, you wouldn't go 9, 10, 11, yes you would, 12, 1, 2. You think that's five hours? Let's see, one, two, three, four. So, it works a little bit differently. Let's make the trips. One, two, three, I was counting wrong, four, five. Five hours. I'm tired again. Five hours from nine to two. From nine to two is one, two, three, four, five hours. Okay?
four hours. Okay, write and show the time since circle AM or PM. Wesley starts reading at 6.15. Now look at that clock. Let's make it six o'clock to start with. Okay, six o'clock. 6.15 looks like that. The hour hand has crept just a tad past the six. He reads for two hours. At what time does he stop reading? So remember, we've got to make it back here twice. One, two, back to the 15. What time is it? Eight, 15. From 615, 715, 815. So that would be two hours. So you write there 815. Now, if he started at 615 p.m. and it's only two hours have gone by, it would still be p.m., right? So it'd be 815 uh, p.m. You can't forget the 15. And then go ahead and finish the second clock that has no hands. The shorthand would be um, just a little bit after the eight and the long hand, the minute hand would be on the three. Now, do you understand whole hour lapses? What if it was 8.30? What would it be in two hours? You go back to the 30 twice. Once, twice. It would be 10.30. What if it was 10.45 and you wanted to know um, how many hours would it be to 1.45? Let's see. 11.45 is one trip. 12.45 is two trips. 1.45 is three trips, three hours. Okay, so that does it for that. And you are gonna be listening to chapter three on uh, of the book, Little House in the Prairie. You have a worksheet that I show you right at the beginning of uh, the video. Uh, about characters that you'll pick a character and you'll do some interviewing okay some questions and answers alrighty and then that will do it okay I'll talk to you later bye bye